Hey everyone, I just wanted to do this quick video for anyone who has a woodland mill sawmill or anyone even thinking about getting a sawmill, um, especially if they're looking at getting a woodland mill sawmill. Woodland Mills just came out with this new auto lube accessory for their sawmills, which I really love. Um, it was a really good deal. I'll show you a little bit about how it works. Uh, so first, what it does is it enables you to automatically have the lube come on when you press the throttle. So when you hit the throttle, the lube will automatically start dripping onto your blade, which is really nice because before you'd have to use this lever, turn it on, cut, make your cut, turn it off, move your sawmill back, turn it on. You'd have to remember to turn it off and on every time. Unfortunately for me, my valve broke uh, last year, so I've been doing it even more manually, which is a real pain, or just letting it pour out in between cuts, which isn't great either, especially if you're running too much lube, it can cause the blade to hydroplane and come off the band wheel, um, which you absolutely don't want to have happen. Um, so the way this auto lube works is you'll see that they have you remove the mount that holds the original throttle, well, it's the same throttle cable, but the original mount that holds the throttle cable and this whole linkage here. And they have this new setup where they have this little valve that gets activated when you press on the throttle. So when you press on this, it causes the drip to come out here. The other issue that I have with mine, which you probably won't have with yours, maybe, but my, eventually the nut that was on here fell off, both of them did, and actually no matter what I do with this, no matter how I turn it now, I think it's broken on the inside, but the valve eventually wore out from me turning it on a regular basis, probably because my other valve wasn't working, so I was using that as the on and off, which you're really not supposed to do. So I replaced it with another valve, which is basically a fuel shut off valve. I just use that to regulate how much liquid goes through. So what this new auto lube valve does is it bypasses the original valve and then you run the lines over to here. And then when you hit the throttle, it opens that valve up and allows the lube to come right down, which is really, really convenient because having to constantly turn it off and on does become kind of a pain. It doesn't sound like much, but when you're milling, especially if you're milling all day, it kind of becomes tedious. And if you just leave it wide open all the time, you eventually run out of lube and you have to keep refilling your tank. Um, also another tip, if you do have a sawmill, um, most people probably figure this out if they already had a sawmill for a while or probably knew this ahead of time and just wasn't stupid like me. But when winter comes, if you're in a cold region where it's gonna freeze, don't leave water in the tank, because I did and it froze. <laughs> and it expanded in the tank and I do have a couple little leaks in it. Um, it's not that big a deal. I, I actually, it doesn't drip so much where I even lose a tank if I leave it sitting for a week. It just, it does drip occasionally. But, so I learned that lesson. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to talk about the auto lube. If you guys have any questions about it, um, I can tell you that you can get it on their website right now. As of July, 2019, I believe it was $69 plus shipping. Um, and to me, I mean, yeah, you can always engineer and come up with other ways and other things, and you probably can come up with this whole thing on your own, but how long is that gonna take, and is it worth the time? I always look at it, and if it's gonna take me a couple hours to conjure up and go pick up parts and put it all together, I'd rather just buy it already done, and basically I'm buying my time back so I don't have to figure it out myself. <laughs> but anyway, like I said, if you have any questions, comments, um, and any suggestions, any input on that, I'd be definitely appreciative of uh, those comments. So anyway, we'll see you on the next video. Hope this helps.